Hi everyone, you're welcome to the Total Education Show. School is not just about academic subjects alone. School is also about co-curricular activities. School is engagement with fun. Development of a child is 360. And that's why we have started this program, Total Education Show. Stream is here to raise kids that will identify the problems, come together as a group, and they see a way to correct the error. We normally say that we have four baskets of rights. So four, that, four baskets of, of rights. Of rights. Okay. At the end of three year training in technical colleges, okay. students are competent enough to take any job. Sit down, relax, and enjoy the show. Thank you. Friends, hello everyone at home. My name is Wumi Tolu Alalade, the anchor on the Total Education Show. Yes, Total Education Show. The show is put together and packaged by the Lagos State Ministry of Education for your co-curricular aspect of education. So you have a total and a, a valued education system even in your homes. Yes. Now, what areas we will be looking at? We're going to be looking at STEM, at STEM issues. We're going to be looking at TVET and we'll be looking at, yes, child protection issues. Everything that has to do with child protection and advocacy of your children, even as they are home. Now, do you want to give me feedback? Yes, I want to hear from you. You can send in your feedbacks to me on this WhatsApp number 081-26601-889. Yes, WhatsApp messages only on... 081 Yes, I'm waiting and I'm looking forward to hearing from you. Sit down, relax, and enjoy the show. Thank you. Welcome to today's show. Um, today we have another episode of the Total Education Show and we'll be looking at issues and concluding the TVET issues today. Um, thank you for coming and being a part of this show. We'll look forward to meeting your needs as we go on to showcase the opportunities that are bound in the TVET schools as you send your children to be a part of the school or as you, yes you, go and join them in our technical and vocational colleges across the five local governments in Lagos State. I still have with me Olai Wola Olufemi and he will be telling us more opportunities and more things that you can benefit by being a part of the TVET schools. Sit down, relax and enjoy the show. Welcome back to the show. Today we'll go on by asking Olaiwala Ulua Femi to give us some highlights and prospects that are bound in Tibet. From the beginning, we have been able to look at all aspects of Tibet, starting from the review to know what Tibet is all about. We've also been able to look at um, the roles of government and even stakeholders, what they, the roles they perform when we talk about um, issues bordering on Tibet. Also, we've been able to look at the skills that are required for students to acquire as they come and become students in the TVET uh, colleges. So today we want to go straight on to um, highlighting the prospects that are bound in TVET. I'm sure over the previous episodes you have mentioned some of them, but today I want you to expand shade more on them and let us have an overview of um, what students stands to gain or parents and uh, even the community stands to gain from TVET. Okay, thank you. As regards prospect of TVET, I would say it is what we can refer to as total education. Mm -hmm. In the sense that there is opportunity for you to advance into higher institution of learning so it's not a one-off stop place. Not at all. You can as well move on. Yes. We have 
so many of our students that have graduated, some that are serving, some that are still in higher institution pursuing one course or the other. After concluding their After concluding, NAPTEP yes, examinations, that is the requirement hmm. to jam. Oh, they can take jam. They take jam. Wow, that's normal good. secondary school. Oh, so you can hear that going to Tibet doesn't make you to just stop at um, the secondary school level. In fact, it gives you more opportunities to be able to advance your academic career armed with enough skills so that you can actually take care of yourself. By the time they return from their sewers, hmm. they have started making money. Money, so, they <laughs> so their eyes are open and they're, they're like, money. I mean, and yeah. Immediately they finish their final year exam, mm -hmm. some of them do take into self-employment. Mm. So become employer of labor. Of labor, mm. establishing deserting the land while in the college. Mm. They start to practice it. Mm. And uh, if they don't do that, the third opportunity is to seek employment from industries. So industries like those your partners? Like our partners. Mm. Already they have got the skill required by industry that will make them to function well. Hmm. Alongside with that, industry will just give them a, a sort of a brochure. For instance, during the last academic session, my student from block clean and concreting department, session, as they were finishing their final exam, a particular company came to recruit all of them. All of them? And presently, <laughs> they are yes. enjoying their work there. Hmm. So, the skill they have acquired while in school, give them the opportunity to, to be gain employed employment by industry. Hmm. Around uh, Lake Kiasis, we have about 250 industries that are to come up there. Hmm. Hmm. Automatically, they the will need workforce. The turnout from our college will not be able to serve them. Hmm. Hmm. The job is already awaiting them. Wow. Wow. So for everyone out there, in case you're looking for ways to secure employment quickly, just after you finish your education, then you should look into TVET. The time has passed that you say people that are going to technical or vocational education centers are dollars or there are people that cannot do well academically. We have heard a lot from Olaiwala today and even in the pre previous episodes, and we're sure that Going into Tibet is not a wrong do for you. In fact, it's an avenue to open doors of more opportunities for you as a student and as our parents over there. Please ensure that any of your child or your children that have that interest, just look for how you can get, get them uh, admitted the into the technical and vocational Admission is colleges. Free. Wow, it's free. You don't but pay for anything. It's tuition free. Oh my God. Everything. Oh my wrong. God. Can you it's just hear wrong. that? It's free. So what are we waiting for? Everyone, please come one, con all, come all, and join us at the Technical and Vocational Education Training Centers in Lagos State. Now I want you to handle the impact on economic growth. Right. Talking about job opportunities now, how does it affect the economy? There is what we call a skill gap. Mm -hmm. We have job on ground. That there is no competent hand to do it. <laughs> but with technical college products available, they have their already made job. Waiting for them Waiting to come out and them, be which they take can it pick on up easily. immediately. Hmm. They only need a little brochure hmm. to comply with the requirement of that particular industry, industry that wants to take them. So job is already waiting for them. Hmm. They can equally create employment, they hmm. can establish their private business, hmm. thereby improving the economy within the community. Please stop the there, Mr. Laiwala. I'm enjoying this. Let us go on and just have a peek at some other evidences that we have in the form of videos supporting all this that we're hearing about the TVET. <music> to make chin chin. Chin chin is a very popular Nigerian snack and it also comes in a different tasty version which is more popular in Nigeria. 
it is very common to see this snack being made during festive seasons in Nigeria and it's a favorite snack for everyone. People have their preferences ranging from the really hard ones to the really soft ones. The Young Entrepreneurs Club of Government Technical College Odomola Ekpe looks into how the making of chin chin can be additional source of income. Now, let's see how we can make chin chin. Chin chin can be easily prepared at home without making without much effort. All the ingredients you need are all pantry staples and everything comes together in about 30 minutes from start to finish. The recipe goes thus. We have the flour, sugar, margarine, evaporated milk, nutmeg, flavor, baking powder, vegetable oil, eggs and salt. Our method of preparation you need to get a clean cup pour the milk and sugar mix together then allow it to dissolve Then you get another clean bowl. You measure your margarine into it, sieve your flour inside the bowl, add your baking powder, your salt, and nutmeg. Then you mix thoroughly until you have no crumbs. After that, you now make a hole at the center and pour your dissolved milk and sugar with your flavor and mix the egg, then mix thoroughly. If the mixture is hard, you add little margarine or water to make it a thick dough and you make sure that it's not sticky inside the bowl. After that, you mix with one hand. Pour little flour on the table, remove the dough from the bowl, place it on the table, then knead very well. After the kneading, you then set aside for some minutes. On the same clean surface, 
you roll the dough and cut into desirable shapes. In cutting of the shapes, we have various shapes, but the most socially acceptable one is the even shape, and you can as well call it cubes. After this, then it's time to fry. You make use of your vegetable oil with a bulb of onions, or you can as well make use of dried onions. It depends on the one that is available. In the process of we frying, I want us to know the importance and the nutrients that is being attached to the chin chin because as a caterer any production there must be a nutritional value in any of your production a flour provides the body with energy we have the margarine and vegetable oil this also provides the body with heat and energy. We can find that under fat and oil. We also have our milk and egg. This helps to build up, it replaces and repairs the body tissue. We can also get this under protein. Viewers, I believe you enjoyed the preparation of the chin chin. Our next segment now is on packaging. The Young Entrepreneurs Club of Government Technical College Ekbe had packaging to make it marketable. With what we are seeing on the screen, we have fancy nylon, we have plain nylon with ribbon, we have disposable cup, and we also have transparent container you can see all this as shown Welcome back. I'm sure you enjoyed the video clip. Yes, we were talking about job creation and um, how to uh, churn out students or graduates of your schools that can meet the need to drive the economy. We have spoken about the competency skills they have acquired mm. that enhances them opportunity to take job from industry. Uh, when you talk of uh, product from technical colleges, they have acquired skills. That skill, wherever they are employed, they'll be able to apply such in order to improve the job they are doing there. Apart from that, it also increases productivity of worker. If you know what to do. Mm. And so on, and so on. You can yes. manipulate and do things, you'll create be, things. You'll be able to do that work effectively. effectively. But without the expected the practical aspects, one will not be able to perform. perform. By so doing, 
it improves the productivity of workers. Mm -hmm. In addition to that, it also improves creative thinking of the students. Mm -hmm. You know why in the college we train them on some basic things? Can you mention those basic things? I'm very interested in all those key things that you train them that distinguishes them from all other students. Let me take okay. mechanical engineering craft for example. Yes, I would like to. When we I think our viewers is machine, uh, we train them on how to do different type of operations. Hmm. We call them operation. Hmm. That is using raw metal to produce a specific object. Hmm. That object that we are training them to produce is not specifically for a particular industry. Hmm. But when they pass out, Portland Cement may give them employment, Dangote may give them em employment. Hey, that is money. Give them employment. <laughs> That's money in their pockets. The plants they are using in each of those uh, industries I've mentioned, they are not the same. Hmm. But the basic skill they have acquired yes, to manage in the school hmm. is the one that will catapult them into the next uh, competency skill required. Hmm. It's just like you teaching ABC to a student. From there, you can form words. Mm -hmm. One, two, three, you can form bigger sentences. Figures. Yes. So that is just what hmm. I mean Fantastic. by basic uh, skills. Fantastic. So you arm them with basic skills that they need to function in the workplace anywhere they find themselves. They don't need to, and when they get there, they'll give them up skill uh, competences yes. to enable them do better at that particular company they are employed. That's very good and that is a wonderful thing to know. So I want to close this by making sure to, uh, to remind you that we, we're waiting for your feedback and we want to hear more from you so that we can know for sure that you have been touched and you have been able to understand for sure that TVET is not a school for dollars, neither is it a school that people that never do well people go to, but rather is a school where you have different opportunities for different people that are skill-oriented, people that love to work with their hands, create things, and go into research and projects that will benefit the economy as a whole. Mr. Laiwala, I want to say thank you for coming, and I appreciate uh, all that you have shared on the show. This is the concluding show, and uh, we look forward to having you any other time. I hope you will oblige us when we call yeah, upon yeah, you. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Do have a lovely time. Thank you for being a part of today's show. We have concluded this episode on TVET, sharing opportunities that are bound for anyone, students and adults alike, that decide to be a part of the program that we have and run at the TVET schools in Lagos State. I want to close this by saying thank you to our governor, the governor of Lagos State, Mr. Babajide Sonwolu, and also saying thank you to the Honorable Commissioner for Education, Mrs. Fola Shade Adefisayo. Not to forget the Executive Secretary of LASVEB, Ms. Ronke Aziz. We're grateful for the support that we have from all of you. And um, we will round up by asking you to send us your feedback on the numbers on your screen. You can as well send your pictures of some of your creations that you'll be able to do. Probably trying out all those that we have showcased on this episode's the 1.0 to 4.0 series of the TVET Total Education Show. Thank you so much and looking forward to hearing from you. I remain your anchor, Mumi Toluala Bye for now. See you next time. <laughs>